Hello and uh, and welcome back. Now I thought I'd do something different. I know I'd keep doing a lot of radio videos at the moment. You must be getting bored with that. So I thought, well, you know, I've got other interests. So I thought I'd show you something different. And uh, I thought I'd show you this, this little tiny, I think these are called a hot air Stirling engine. They're a bit like a steam engine. Now I'll tell you how I come about this because I, I didn't uh, purchase this. I had a customer, oh, ages ago now, said I was chatting to him and he's quite elderly and I happened to mention some of the sort of steel little model steam engines that I've got that you may have seen on my other videos and uh, anyway he, he said oh I, I, you know he bought one of these model, model engines he bought one about a year ago and he said oh, I bought one you know to play about with couldn't get it to uh, couldn't get it to work so sort of put it away in a box and he said you know well if would, would you like it and I thought, yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so nothing happened for weeks, like you know, like it is. And I thought he'd forgotten about it. And then he, he sort of suddenly came came out on Saturday with this sort of box, you know. And uh, I, I, I've got to be honest, I, I can't remember when he said it. I thought it might be a, a proper tractor or traction engine or or mammoth's kind of you know steam tractor or something i was a little bit disappointed with the box i thought well okay but you don't say anything do you but anyway when i sort of got it home i, I got it out and uh yeah it's this little uh little sterling engine now i've seen these sort of you know on ebay um 20 25 pounds something like that i've never had one never sort of uh never played with one i don't really know an awful lot about them if anyone's watching and you know a little bit about these Perhaps you'd sort of leave something in the comments to help me out. But basically the guy said, you know, he'd got this. And there is some black soot, I notice, on the test tube. And he said he'd got the little pot here, which is like a little pot. And I think you're supposed to put in uh, alcohol or something. But he didn't have that. And he'd put a candle under here. And he said it got really, really hot. But the piston, you know, never moved. And then he'd sort of given up and put it away and there it was so yeah I don't know I've opened it up and I've got to show you this look it came in some really nice sort of colourful Chinese newspaper <laughs> it's great isn't it when you buy things from China you get all this like, you get all, so that's that so obviously it came from a, from China somewhere but inside it you know all wrapped up still wrapped up in this um, sort of polystyrene stuff was the little the little burner that he hasn't used and uh, also another piece of glass which has quite clearly been cut from what looks like a sort of a test tube and a piston which is a, at first I thought this might be a spare piston you know and then I thought well why is that not got an end to it and then we've got a little spare rubber seal and a drive belt but when I've looked at this um, I, I wonder if he hasn't properly assembled it because when you go around this side you can sort of see I've got another aperture there and another sort of part of I think it's part of a piston so I'm wondering if that is connected because at the moment that just spins so if you heat that up yeah it might push the piston that way but then there's nothing to pull it back it's not like a two stage kind of steam engine so I'm thinking and this is the first time I've played with this because I've been a bit busy but I wonder, we've got a drive belt here, and there's a little V on that pulley, and I reckon that goes down there to this little tiny electric motor, which is a bit like a generator, isn't it? And then I've got this piston, which has got a conrod, and then there's a little cam there. So I'm thinking that that probably, and he never got this out, he never got this out of packaging, I've just done this, but I'm thinking that might go on there. And if I carefully put that on there, and I should probably use a little bit of Vaseline or something. Well, there you go, that's gone on there. And then if that goes, if, that, if I can get that connected to that uh, little cam there. I think I might should have done that. Yeah, I need to let him one go. Hang, hang on. Bear with me. This is, uh, it's actually going to be Freddy in the Shed 1, so I shouldn't really show you my mistake, should I? But, uh, so consider this, oh there you go, that goes on there. I hope we're getting this on camera, let me get into the centre a bit. That pushes on there, that goes, there you go, that goes on there, okay. Now let's see what happens. Oh, we, we, yeah, we've got a little bit of compression. Yeah, that's, that's, 
that's definitely created so that so that must be connected between there and there um, so I suppose just if you heat this up this piston is going to uh, as the air expands inside this tube the piston is going to go that way hot air will come through there at, that's at its fullest stroke top dead centre no below top dead centre and then the hot, hot gases or hot air will come into there push that one down and then the whole thing I suppose reverses this cools down the piston is pushed in and there you go I can't try it at the moment I haven't got any um, I'm not going to make the same mistake as him and try it with a candle I haven't got any alcohol well <laughs> yeah we've got wine and beer but I haven't got any alcohol to burn in this uh, little burner thing here so what I've done I've, I've sent off for some uh, rubbing alcohol which is sort of you know about 70% I think I've got white spirit but that will create a little bit of soot as well so um, yeah I just I'd like to see it so when, when I get some alcohol I'll uh, I'll fill this up and then you know I'll give it a go if anyone knows anything about these I think that's how it goes together he never put it together I just don't think he really knew what he was doing at all not that I do but that definitely seems to uh, seems to work and then we've got these little couple of wires if I can get it going I don't know the output on this little tiny motor here but maybe we'll we'll connect that up to a little lead or something so there you go, just thought I'd show you that, I'm waiting for that, I'll do another video once I uh, once I get this going, it's a little, I suppose it is a little sterling engine isn't it, a little, um, it's quite nice, I mean to be honest, it's quite nicely, well, quite nicely made really, so I, ha I have seen these, you know, typically 20 to 30 pounds on eBay, you know, but it's obviously someone in a little, little workshop somewhere has knocked these out, it's not badly made, it's all nice and solid. And there you go. So I can't run it at the moment. So I'll do another video, and we'll try and get it to try and get it to run. Okay, just thought I'd show you that something other than radio. Hope everyone's uh, safe and you know having a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, cheers. I'll uh, I'll catch you on the next one, and hopefully I'll get this one uh, working. Bye for now.